Continuing on now with the gluteal muscles, we're going to look at the glute minimus and to review its origin and insertion. It comes from the outer inferior portion of the ilium and then it's running anteriorly to the greater trochanter. Its main actions are going to be abduction of the hip, though it does have a little bit of a role in internal rotation of the thigh. Okay. For the muscle test on this one, what we'll do is have patient lie face up. So with the patient supine, we're going to go through a glute minimus muscle test. It's going to be a very similar position to the medius, except what we're going to do is instead of about 5 degrees, we're going to bring them right up to about 20 degrees, slight internal rotation, and then again, it's still going to be a down and in motion while you're supporting the opposite limb, and then hold there nice and strong, slowly load in, and then slowly come off. For variations on the glute minimus muscle test, if, uh, if they have knee problems and this this test position here is causing them pain. What we can do is just move up the table a little bit with the limb in test position with contact above the hip, support on the opposite side, and then muscle test that way. Again, if you want to reinforce and not have to work so hard, you can pin that elbow right into your hip and then just lean your body weight into the table and that gets a really good, really good test across that muscle. Okay, come down. To reinforce that elbow and, and get a lot of your body weight into it, make sure it's pinned right up in to that ASIS so that when I lock my hand into him, I can just lean my hips forward and my pelvis into the table and I'm virtually working mostly with my lower body, minimal, minimal upper body effort for that. For the sideline variation of the glute minimus test, it's going to be very similar to the medius, but there's a few key things we need to do differently. So what we want to do is make sure he's actually rocked back on his ilium a bit. So what we'll do is bring him back, bring this hip forward just a little. Good. You really need to make sure you're supporting the patient in this position. If I step away, he may roll off the table and that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't be too good. However, moving the limb up into the test position is going to look, again, similar to the glute medius. This is about five degrees of hip flexion, but we need to make sure he's forward at about 20 as well as internally rotated. Now we still need to push his limb into the table as well as back towards me. So that's why it's very important to rock him back on his ilium a bit while I then lean forward, push down and back. Again, while palpating and supporting through the muscle test. If someone has knee issues, we can slide up above the knee joint and do the exact same thing while palpating all the structures below, feeling the contraction of the iliotibial band while we slowly load in and out and check this muscle.